John, how would you assess that round? Uh, I mean, it's a bit odd. <laughs> I was able to score really well in the last few holes. I uh, gave myself a ton of birdie chances, hit a lot of good putts. And, you know, too bad I couldn't make more of them, um, especially my whole back nine. It's just I'm not fully comfortable in my swing off the tee, not comfortable at all. And you're going to pay the consequences out here. I think the last two days with how bad it's been off the tee, I've done a really good job of minimizing mistakes. Um, I mean, I've had two balls in the hazard and a shank. So but just shank for people that didn't see it. <laughs> wow, no. <that's> it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, that's three shots right there, and I'm two under par. So hopefully I can tidy up a little bit of the tee on the weekend and give myself more scoring chances. Was the shank a kind of a product of not feeling comfortable with your swing? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, ball below my feet, uncomfortable shot, wind, and try to drive it in low, and it's just, you know, I didn't clear at all, uh, full of indecision. It was a recipe for disaster. Uh, which could have been either greenside bunker or maybe, you know, short, but uh, ended up being worse. I, I did get lucky with him what happened. I was able to save a bogey, which, which was minimizing the, the mistake, right? I, I thought it was going out of bounds, and, and I was staring at a seven quick. Um, that's not something we've heard you say a lot of, that you're uncomfortable with your swing. Is this kind of something that's first in a, little, in a little while? Well, sometimes I do hit a few shots where I'm not fully comfortable, but today, legit every tee shot. Besides a tee shot on one, which was my 10th, and the one on nine, everything else was really far off the center of the face and not the way I envisioned it at all. I mean, a couple of times I put it in play, was able to make birdies, but you know, I think the, for the majority of the day, it just wasn't great. Um, but again, I was able to minimize most of it. Uh, I think it was a sole bogey today, which you know, that, that tells you a little bit of, of how I went. John, is it, is it, are you able to tell how much the course is seasoned in just one year or not really after, you know, all new? Well, so the greens are a lot better, right? I mean, when you have brand new greens, it's a little bit different. You can get some firm bounces, a little bit of little breaks there that, you know, wouldn't be there once the greens are settled. Uh, you know, they look like they've been like this forever. They look great. Um, they're responding great. I'm assuming... Jack is going to be forcing the superintendent to not water the course and get it as dry as possible, which is what we expect. And, you know, e even get, be getting better. I mean, it's, it's in great shape as always. There's not much you can say. Uh, it's a tough test out there in the shows. Barely any win and seven on this leading. So uh, that's, the, that's the thing that we would like to see. I feel like you're, you're still right there, though. I mean, you're oh, only yeah. five back right, as of right now. I'm not. I mean, I'm in it. Yeah. Uh, I could have very easily shot myself out of it and try to fight to make the cut. And, you know, I was able to save a few holes out there and and put myself in an okay spot. Obviously, coming into the week, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a low score. Hopefully, the conditions get difficult and I can I can manage it. But otherwise, tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a low one to, to give myself a chance. Thanks, John. Thank you.